I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. You're being lied to. What's up everybody? It's Chase with Energy to Conquer and today is day 47 on my experimental journey to increase in my energy, my mental clarity, and just my overall focus. And guys, look, if you wake up feeling tired, you go to work feeling tired, you can't give your best at work because you're tired, you just don't feel well, you don't have the energy, you can't focus, you can't concentrate, you get snippy with people by the end of the day, you're living on caffeine, you're living on sweets, energy drinks, whatever it is, we all know the feeling. You get home from work and you don't have the mental capacity to spend the time that you want to with your family, with your children, with your spouse, with your friends, with whoever it is in your life weekends you just don't have the capacity guys we all know the feeling we've all been there it's normal all actually it's almost like a rite of passage in our society today guys if you feel this way if you're tired and you're sick of waking up tired you're sick of feeling tired at work you're sick of getting home completely depleted and not having the energy or the mental capacity to spend the quality of time that you want with your family with your friends guys you got to be sure to subscribe to this channel hit the bell icon and look guys if what i'm saying resonates with you if you like what's in this video be sure to give it a thumbs up give it that like if you dislike it or you have a comment or you think i'm completely full of it be sure to tell me in the comments below i would love to hear hey if you love it leave us a comment as well but look guys Today is something very important that I wanted to share with you guys, and it's this. You're being lied to. You're being manipulated. Like, we all know this, but I don't think most of us are really consciously aware of it at the level that it's taking place. Or we cognitively, we know, we understand, but we're not aware in the moment of how much we're being lied to, how much we're being... I guess manipulated in how much this is destroying our quality of life our fulfillment in life our joy our energy how much this is completely sending our children on a path through the weeds uh, on their lives as they grow up to be adults and then we're enabling like we don't realize just where all these lies or, or how we even get here like we wake up and it's like what have I done like how did I get here right but guys you're being lied to and you're being manipulated on such a mass scale that the average person is completely unaware and here's what I'm talking about guys there are companies that are there's industries that's making billions upon billions upon billions of dollars annually Playing on your emotions, playing on my emotions, playing on all of our emotions. They're playing on our weak mindset, our weak, I guess, mental state. They're playing on our weak emotions, and it's destroying us. It's literally sucking the life out of us. It's robbing us of joy. It's robbing us of fulfillment. And guys, look, I mean, there, there's no... There's no way around it. It's more obvious than ever. And I'm going to tell you, and, you, and you're going to realize, like even if you think that I'm full of it right now, I'm about to tell you why and prove to you why this is. But look, guys, let me tell you this first. So there's a book by Seth Godin. It's called All Marketers Are Liars. And the book goes through a bunch of different scenarios, a bunch of different cases. But when you get to the end of this book, the general consensus is... All marketers are lying to some extent, but the question is, are they lying if they're giving the consumer what they really want? So are they lying? And what he means by that is, just a quick example is, if you sell a placebo, let's say you sell a bottle of water and this water is supposed to make you happy, just a plain bottle of water. But by the marketing, when people drink this water, it has this complete placebo effect. And when they drink it, it makes them happy. Really, there's nothing in the water that makes them happy. 
It's just they believe when they drink that water, it makes them happy. So therefore it changes their mental state and they become happy. And so now when they drink this water, they feel happy, right? So the, the, I guess the overall consensus of that book is, is that morally wrong or not? I mean, are you doing them a disservice or are you helping them get happiness? Because at the end of the day, you're not selling water, you're selling happiness, right? So I say that to say this is a fine, a very, very fine razor edge line, like thin, thin razor edge line um, of moral, right? Is it right or wrong? Is it unethical? Like ethics, all this comes into that conversation. So in the case of the water, ah, that's a tough one, right? Because are you selling happiness or are you selling the water? But here's the problem. When you're selling that happiness, but let's say instead of the bottle of water, just be in water that's kind of neutral. It's not really, actually water will make you healthier, but let's just say it's neutral for conversation's sake. Is that bottle of water, well, I mean, is it is it going to decrease and make your, your life worse? Is it going to... I guess damage your health is it going to damage your mental health or your physical health right so it's not really a toxin it's not really doing damage to your body but it is making you feel happier right so that's the conversation but let's say that that bottle of water let's say it has something like arsenic in it right and you're drinking that bottle of water with just a very little amount of arsenic like arsenic is a trace mineral and our bodies tolerate it um, it's just when you get concentrations which is doesn't sound that's just like millions and millions of particles right it's probably high part it is high concentration right like like it's very little like it's measured in the millions um but anyways so the arsenic is a trace mineral but when you get it in high concentrations it becomes poison that's how people used to poison people and probably still do who knows but it's a heavy metal poisoning so let's say that water's got the got the poison in it it's got the toxins in it right and now you're selling this water because it delivers happiness, right? You're selling it because this water is magic water and it makes you happy. People drink it and they feel like they're being happy. So one bottle's not going to kill you, right? Two bottles not going to kill you. Probably a couple bottles a week ain't going to kill you. But the problem is when you do that over a period of years, you build this, you build up all this arsenic in your system. And if it's not all leaving your system, you're going to end up with a high arsenic level. It's actually a problem with fish, with mercury in fish. And that's something else that can rob your energy. I've not talked about, but um, fish has high levels of mercury coming from the ocean and coming from rivers. But so over time, those toxins in the fish, the, the mercury, it builds up and it can actually do a lot of damage to your health. But eating fish once isn't going to hurt you. Eating fish, you know, a couple times a week. If you look up the guidelines, I know here in North Carolina, there's actually guidelines in the game and wildlife book, which is like they control the the fishing and hunting is where you get your fishing license and your hunting license there's actually diagrams in there based on where you get the fish from and the type of fish it is how much you should eat per week and it's different guidelines for women who are pregnant than just normal people or women who are childbearing age than just guys or children right so you know that that should be an eye-opener itself right you know that should be hmm, what's going on here but you know not to get off track so this water, we're selling back to the water. We're selling this water, this glass of water. It makes you happy when you drink. It has a complete placebo effect. But now, instead of this water being neutral, it's actually damaging your health. Like it's building up this arsenic in your body. Once ain't gonna hurt you. Maybe, you know, a couple times a month, a couple times a week ain't gonna hurt you. But when you continue to do it weekly over a period of years, it builds up and it becomes very toxic and starts having a negative effect and becomes destructive. So, Here's the thing, here's how you're being lied to, guys. It's the same thing that's happening with the commercials you're seeing on TV, with the commercials you're seeing in print, with now, you know, some of these companies are getting more into social media and different things, so you're starting to see it more and more on the internet. But the billboards, you, you can't escape it, right? And, and it's primarily the food industry, but really a lot of industries, right? You, you, food is damaging your health. I mean, the, the the food that's advertised on TV is damaging your health. Let me say that. So, you know, if you watch a sporting event, it's, it's the worst. And it does, and it defies logic. Like, people are watching people in peak physical states, peak mental states in sports on TV. 
right? And they're showing nothing but commercials for junk food, for pizza, for burgers, for, you know, fast food, and, and all this stuff. Like, like it, it's the worst of the worst of food, right? It's beer and junk food, pretty much, when you watch most sporting events outside of probably tennis and golf, which is a little bit more, I don't know what you call it, higher class sports. But so then you might see advertisements for things like Cadillacs and Rolexes, right? Um, but for just average sports, football, basketball, baseball here in America, you're going to see, even soccer, you're going to see primarily it's going to be beer and fast food. So the fast food, eating it once is the same thing. Like they're playing on your emotions because emotionally that's going to make you feel good, right? And, and it's going to make you feel good in the moment. You're watching the game. You're celebrating for whatever reason. You're celebrating these other people's victories. These people in their peak physical state. Like you're almost watching them do the stuff that you probably think you could never ever possibly do. And so, you know, they convince you to go and order a pizza, go eat fast food, do all this stuff. And like you weren't even hungry before you started watching it. Then you watch it and then you start craving this food. Next thing you know, you're eating it. But the thing is, like it's, it's almost brainwashing you um, in your mind. Because here's the thing with, you know, we all run on these mental programs. And these little mental programs are not necessarily based on truth as much as they are based on repetition. Which means whatever you hear the most, what your mind hears the most repeated is what it's going to believe. So when you're sitting in front of this TV for hours on end, right, you, you're getting these messages over and over and over and over. And next thing you know, you hadn't watched TV in a day, but you're coming home and you've got this craving for pizza, right? And it's that just happens to be the same company that keeps playing the same commercial over and over and over and over and over, right? On the on the whatever it is you watch on TV during that time slot. They're just running the commercial every time a commercial comes on. And you know, a day later, you've not watched the TV, but it's there, right? You know, you just want to go, you want that brand of pizza, right? And so that's kind of how it works and maybe that's oversimplifying it maybe that's overcomplicating it but that's what's happening and that's the truth and so this is le marketing is leading us down this path where it's not going to hurt you today it's not going to hurt you tomorrow the the fda is not going to say it's toxic but we all know that it is toxic when you consume this stuff on a weekly basis year after year after year we all know it is but it's okay right but it's okay because you're 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 getting the emotional high that you want now but even when you get done eating that i guarantee you when you stuff yourself on pizza and you overeat on pizza if you overeat it right and i've been there i'm i'm you preaching i'm preaching to the choir here right like that's me right pizza is 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 my kryptonite right i've been had a lot of extra pounds for a lot of years because of pizza but the thing is like when you overeat on this stuff it makes you feel so terrible like you it, when you cognitively sit and just become aware of how you feel after you eat this stuff like it becomes this mental battle in your mind but most people just accept that as normal right like you don't want to do nothing after you overeat and stuff your face with pizza right like i used to be able to i could lay down a whole pizza i probably still i knew i still could right now but the thing is is you know how does it make you feel afterwards but even that we all know what's going to happen if you do that on a weekly basis especially if you do it two or three times on a weekly basis i've done it i've tried that experiment it doesn't end well i promise you right so anyways guys that's what's happening and so even all the commercials you see on tv just start paying attention to those and see how you're being lied to even like most of the commercials you're going to see on tv is going to be either food it's going to be or there is going to be three things but primarily it's going to be food which is it's never going to they're never advertising lettuce they're never advertising healthy vegetables, healthy fruits. Like, they're not advertising this stuff. And if they are, it's some local farmer's co-op that's running it, and you're hardly ever going to see it. And probably the only place you're ever going to see that is on local cable TV, if that even is a thing anymore, with the streaming services, right? So, this food, and then it's medication. And the last one's going to be financing things that you can't afford, like to make you feel better mentally, <laughs> which is, it's like, okay... So now, you know, you don't feel good about who you are. You don't feel good about your mental state. You're in this depressed state. But if you go buy this car that you can't afford, or you go buy this furniture that you can't afford, or you go buy whatever it is they're advertising that you can't afford, it's instantly going to make you feel better. It's like this instant gratification. But when you add those bills on top of the bills that you already have trouble paying, it's just creating more stress, more anxiety. It's making your life suck even worse. But that's not what this is about. So the next one is... is 
the medical so like the the big pharma like the medicine commercials and these things are so damn tricky but i'm going to tell you something next time you see one you won't be able to look at it the same so you've got these medications let's say it's i mean it's everything most of them geared towards older people but some of them younger people like you'll see these medications they'll be for congestive heart failure but they'll show these older folks in pristine health just walking on the dock skipping right whatever it is doing they're playing this happy music in the background and there's actually nlp this is like neuro linguistic programming they call this uh framing so they're basically framing they're changing the frame of the conversation so by changing the music and by changing how the people look it changes the message and how your brain perceives it it's complete trickery and so you know you see these people skipping on the dock and they just look like they're loving life and it's like these people look like they could probably run a half marathon definitely run a five or ten k and playing this happy music but it's advertising congestive heart failure so i don't know if you've ever met anyone with congested heart failure but not many people with congestive heart failure look like these people but by showing these people they make the people with congested heart failure feel like oh this is going to make me feel like that and it's happened subconsciously and we don't even realize it but here's the thing pay attention when they start going over the the uh side effects right you got this medication it's going to do this for you and there's a list of like 75 side effects you could come from this and they have to read through it but while they're reading through it they're just showing more happy people and playing even happier music this is like the happiest part in the music the auditory that's that's triggering your brain and the visual that's triggering your brain like this is the happiest part but they're talking about their words are the worst part and they're saying it in this real soft spoken voice right they they, they change the tone of voice the tonality like it's all this is intentional so next time you watch a commercial for a, a medication be sure to pay attention but it doesn't matter it doesn't have to be old people chunk people same thing like they do a, like uh i don't know something weird like like herpes or anal warts right and then these people are just living the life to the fullest right and you got all these side effects right this will fix your herpes but it may give you a heart attack and it may give you brain cancer and it may give you ulcers and it may give you this and that so it's almost like these side effects are far worse than what it's trying to treat but the commercial right the audio the video it makes it seem so happy right it's like oh this is going to make me feel so good it's almost like i just want to take these pills even though i don't have these problems right because it's going to make me feel that good so maybe that's a stretch but you guys get my point you're being lied to the food's the worst our diets are being dictated by marketers in case you haven't figured that out like it's all being dictated the things we see the messaging and the stuff that's playing over and over and over and over and over and over in front of our head it's completely a cognitive bias that's being being triggered that's being put in place by people that don't have your best intentions and that's the reason nobody's talking about this nobody's talking about the energy game nobody's talking about any of this stuff because they're making way more money the people that's making the most money they have the loudest voices because they've got the most money to spend and you're not hearing this stuff even you get into medical textbooks and all these things right i'm not going down that road but guess who's funding this stuff it's the pharmaceutical companies right who's funding the studies for the colleges they're all owned right of course they're come of course the the outcome is going to come out in their favor when they're paying for the study come on guys you got to look into some of this stuff right so look this energy game nobody's talking about energy but the truth is the energy is vital to everything your physical health if you don't have the energy to go work out take care of yourself physical to work on your mobility like your agility your balance like as we get older our balance you don't have the energy guess what's going to go all that stuff our mental health like if you don't have the energy like your mental health when it's depleted is it's got so much to do with your confidence your self-esteem your self-worth your value and just how you approach life you're positive you're negative right these things and they just weigh down on you that it creates stress it creates fear it's like and then you get in this anxiety state and you stay there and then that just destroys your health and causes you know cancers and heart disease and all these things like we talk about we know that physical exercise we know that's part of you know this game with health and 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 like all these diseases and cancers and all these things that people have right and all everybody's dying from like america leads cancer diabetes and heart disease and we know that number one is is diet 
Number two is nutrition, but nobody's talking about the energy because we're all running an energy deficit and we're over stressing our body. So everything I talked about at the first of this video with not having waking up tired, like getting to work tired, not being able to concentrate at work, coming home depleted, not having, you know, it creates the guilt because you don't have the time or the capacity to spend with your family and you're not spending the quality of time that you know you should be because you don't have the energy, it creates guilt. All this stuff creates so much stress in a high stress environment that it's literally killing us. So that's why when you see people that's doing everything right, they're doing the diet right, they're doing the fitness right, and they're still having some of these problems, it's because they're overstressed, right? Overstressed. So, guys, look, you know, this isn't rocket science, but sometimes we just have to step back. Like, it's, it's, it's a complete cognitive bias that's being put on us by companies or industries that's making millions and millions and millions of dollars off of us. They're completely playing us. They're playing on our emotions, right? Because we all want to feel good. We all feel like crap at times and we all want to feel better. And everything that they're positioning to us is positioned to us to make us feel better. Like this is the problem. They want us to think that this is the problem uh, and, and they've got the solution, right? That's the reason we're not happy is because whatever they've got. And a lot of times they can trigger us. They're so good at this with this with this messaging that the psychology that's put in these commercials that they can make us hungry when we're not hungry, right? You see the pizza and it's like, you can see like the steam coming off of it, right? You can almost smell it when you see it on the TV. It's some powerful stuff, guys. Even some of these just visual pictures, like the, the, what they do to some of these photos, you can almost smell like you can taste it like your mouth waters. It's like Pavlov's dog, right? And if you don't know what that is, go look it up. But it's like, it's completely what has happened to our society through marketing and we're being lied to. It's destroying our health. It's destroying our children's health. It's destroying our entire nation. But it's in store, it really is, but it's it's affecting in the all of Western culture that it has TV and, and print and all, and billboards and all these things where this is being pushed on us. But the only way to fix this is to be cognitively aware ourselves. And we've got to be smarter than this. We've got to stop being ignorant consumers because being an ignorant consumer is killing us. But more importantly than it killing us is it's destroying our quality of life while we're here, right? Before it kills us, it's, it's making us miserable. And we've got to stop. We've got to stop. So look, guys, I think I beat this horse to death today. But it's such an important message that, you know, we've got to move past this. It's a complete cognitive bias. And when I say cognitive bias, Here's the thing, like you can, the way that you can have two different, I guess, political views, like you got two different people and one person sees something one way and they absolutely 100% believe they're right and somebody sees something another way and they absolutely believe that they're right, right? And it's like, because our mind, it's those messaging, it's the messages that we've put in front of ourselves that we've received, right? Because most of us are not critically thinking, we're just consumers, so we're just consuming and letting other people dictate what we think because we're not seeking out the information of ourselves, We forgot how to become seekers in society to seek out information for ourselves and to analyze and pay attention. So instead we've become ignorant consumers and we just consume. So whoever's able to get that message in front of us is, is whoever is going to control what we do and ultimately our mental programs. And it sounds kind of scary when you say it like that and really it is. But it's something we all have to be aware of. Right? You, you can look it up. It's cognitive bias and it's manipulation at its best. And it's it's used the most powerful forms of psychology, which is through you know changing your mental state and through audio and through visual. And it's just completely reframing our brains and how we look at things. We know the pizza's bad, but our emotional desire for it is so strong and we don't understand why that we can't say no or the fast food or whatever it is our problems are right the junk food that we shouldn't be eating so guys we, we've got to raise our level of awareness to be able to see these things for what they are and see how we're being manipulated is that going to solve the problem absolutely not are we still going to struggle probably but is it going to make it easier for us to better enhance the quality of our lives and make sure that our children are aware of these things so it doesn't completely wreck their lives because look let's be real honest guys there is people right now that base all of their life decisions off of what they see on TV and through commercials and probably whatever's being paid for for the news to say and all these other right and movies and other things right I mean do you think a Pepsi a day I mean do, do you think 
that's going to have a positive effect on your health there's no way right eventually it's going to cause problems and maybe one a day is not but two three four five look you're going to be able to physically tell physically see the problem do that for a year do it for two years five years it's going to be real obvious right so you know yes the diet the nutrition even the mental side effects from this stuff is a lot of the problem that's causing a lot of the problems in society with our overall health how we view health you know just our overall view of the world really but the thing is like all of that's coming from marketing right and there's billions and billions and billions of dollars being spent on this stuff because there's even more billions to be made and it's working and there's really no way to regulate it without the government's regulating private businesses but the thing is it's not the businesses it's not the government that's in the wrong or the evil necessarily I'm not saying it's ethical, I'm not saying it's right, but I'm saying it's our, we've, we've neglected our responsibility as consumers to do our own research, to base our own information. Instead, we've became ignorant consumers instead of seekers, um, finding our own truths, right? Being our own little scientist, right? That's something you got to go to school for. But science is observational for the most part, right? I mean, really, it is observational. And you can observe science. You don't need a college degree for that to see, wait a minute, I see all these people drinking a dozen sodas a day. Okay, I see their health problems four or five years later. I see their waistline four or five years later. That doesn't take a degree, right? And maybe that's oversimplifying it, but you gotta look at people's habits and the results they're getting. What are they eating and what's their results, right? You see their health. Well, let's go back and look. We see people that's falling apart health-wise. Maybe they're falling apart physically. Maybe they don't have good balance. Maybe all these things, right? Well, let's go back and look and see how they got here. And that's the part uh, we can do ourselves. And that's the part of science that we're neglecting. And that's what's making us ignorant consumers because we stopped critically thinking and looking at how certain people get to certain situations that we don't want to be in. And instead, we just accept whatever comes to us as truth, even if it's wrong. Even if there's an agenda behind it, we just accept it as truth. So guys, you've got to stop letting these people lie to you. And it doesn't mean it's going to change, you know, your life immediately. But until you become aware of these things, you're going to struggle no matter what you do. Unless you just completely banish yourself from this stuff, you're going to struggle at improving your quality of life. Because ultimately, they're dumbing you down and it's making them billions of dollars. Guys, become seekers. Seek for yourself. Think for yourself. Don't be ignorant consumers we've got to stop this as a society right as anyone that's health conscious anyone that wants more energy anyone that wants to you know just feel better and wants to do more in life like i think we've all come to that conclusion and it's something that we have to be cognitively aware of and we have to be a lot more aware when we see these things so that's all i got guys hope you have a blessed day